What's up YouTube, Jay Traveling here. Today I wanted to go over the remote software I use because I use Google Chrome's remote software and sometimes you see how there's just no cursor that comes up. You know, I did some searching online. I tried to look around, nobody really seemed to have a fix for it. So today I'm gonna show you my little workaround that I found for some reason. It sound, look, just looks like a tiny glitch in their software but you see like my cursor will be at the top of the screen here once I come down it's gone but you'll notice a little tiny red uh, not red a little tiny black dot that I noticed that kind of replaces the cursor so I can kind of bring it down and move some stuff around uh, if I can track it enough I can click on things still one thing I did notice though is if I click on a tab like this hold it and move it my cursor comes back up and then it's just back for me to use to do whatever. So I don't know why it does this or why that worked, but it seems to work every single time for me to grab a drop down window and move it around or a box and just move it around. It, I usually just use it on this because I do mine cryptocurrencies. So I move this around and then it comes right back up. And this is only on my desktop, on my phone when I remote in obviously it's touch screen sometimes I go to track mode every once in a while to click on something but mainly it's just in touch mode so this doesn't play as big of a role but when I'm on my computer it's just nice to finally get my pointer back and be able to actually use the software the way it's supposed to be used and monitor my rigs and sometimes I'll re reprogram change the overclock settings and get it or get them working again but that was just my little work around how I got the cursor to come back up uh, hopefully this helps some people out. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, check out my other videos, and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.